Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, got a little painting update here for 20 Shooter Boys Go. I got the second batch of five arms done. So it's five guys. So it means five sets of arms. Four shooter shooters, essentially, and one rocket launcher. Um, you may be wondering why rocket launcher. Well, I got three squads of boys in general. And um, the other two squads are going to have big shooters in it. And it's three squads of 20, eventually. So I can have two shooter, two big shooters or two rocket launchers. So I figured I have one squad of rocket launchers. I might put it with the shooter boys, I mean the slugger boys, just cuz. I don't know. We'll see. But um, they're, the reason why I chose them is they're the wild card. When, they, when you do a lot of shooting, you know, maybe it'll hit. Who knows? It's one shot. It's, well, actually, it's assault one, which is nice. So you can move and shoot with it. And, um... If I'm gonna assault a tank, I might as well give it a pot shot with the rocket launcher. Um, or if I'm going to soften up a squad before I charge into it. Or even if I'm just gonna you know, shoot a squad because I want to. It's a chance. It's a high strength weapon, AP3. So, you know, why not? Um, anyway, the other arms are pretty much the same for the shooters. You know, you get your shooters and you get the arms to grab it. And then you got the completed backpack for the rocket launcher. Those are the rockets. And then that's. The top part is where the wrenches are, the formal crossbone. And um, so that, it's a pretty cool little backpack. And then you got the actual rocket arm, um, which has the hand for the grasping arm over here on it, molded onto it. So that means the arm, this arm connects to that. So you can see how it's got a little stub there. Um, that's a cool arm. In general, if you don't want to do that and you want to use conversion work, you can like green stuff or plastic card like a shank on it for a slugger boy. Like he's lost his hand, so he replaced it with a uh, chopper because you know, why not? But um, so that's the two arms you need for this. And um, just to recap for the second number five, I did all the flesh for everybody and the eyes for everybody uh, for all the bodies. Uh, I didn't do the bionic eye yet because the bionic eye I do when I do the rest of the body. So I'll put a little like red dot or black dot, whatever one I want to, to use for the bionic lens on after I paint the metal. But uh, the flesh tones and the eyes are, are all done. Which means now that the arms are done, all that's left to do on the body is pretty much, let me show you, where the purple would be and the leather straps would be and clean up where the black is. And then they're essentially done. So. After this squad of five, after this group of five, I gotta do ten more for this squad. So it's almost halfway there. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll, uh, of course, keep you updated for this squad. And then after that, we'll see what I'm gonna do with the 20 Shooter Boys. Um, one thing I wanna say is it's been rough painting these orcs, not because they're difficult, not because I don't like the army. I do. It's just that I'm a Space Marine player at heart. And I love painting space marines. I can paint them all day. I can paint them relatively quick. And, you know, add their heraldry and whatnot. But, I don't know, the orcs, it's just it's just doing non-human flesh tones. I hate it. Not that I hate it, it's just... I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me like painting power armor. But, you know, such is life. So that's fine. I mean, you might find yourself doing that, which is why uh, when I get these guys done, I got a bunch of stuff that's paint that's in PIP, painting in progress for Space Marines that I'm gonna finish up, kind of as like you know a reward, kind of a because I want to, <laughs> and um, so that's pretty much it. So that's everything. And as the title should say in this video, I'm gonna do a shout out to um, a friend of mine. He's a real life friend. He's not like a forum friend, which is fine for people. I'm just saying he is somebody I actually know. Um, he goes by the title Helios Raven on his blog, which you can find on my blog if you go there, on the, the uh, Vox Scanner section. And um, he also just recently started, I believe he has one video actually, because he just started doing a YouTube channel, Helios Raven's Nest. I just subscribed to it, and um, it's so it will be in my subscription section of my page. I'll put a link to it in the description on this video. But, uh, he's a friend of mine, he's been doing this for a while, you know, in and out. He started, he, like, gave up 40k, I don't know, X amount of years ago, got into War Machine, 
um, whatnot. He's so into it, I think. But then, um, because me and my other friend were learning 40k with my Dark Angels and my friend Sisters of Battle, um, he kind of got back into it because of that. So, um, he's a Dark Angel fan like I am. Um, he's actually making his own successor chapter for them, which is cool. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much, I'm sure he'll talk about it, but I'll just tell you the armies he has now. Um, he has, he's a good painter. I like how he paints his stuff. He's a good painter, and he can paint pretty fast. Like, uh, I have my Dark Angels, which are oh, around 3,000 points of worth, worth at least. And I got my Thousand Suns Pre Heresy, which is 1750. And I got, like, 800 points of Tau. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm working on the Exorics and other Space Marine armies and in increasing my sizes for other stuff. And, of course, like every, pretty much working on almost every race. But he's got a sizable force of Chaos Thousand Suns. Which is funny, because I started working on Chaos Thousand Suns a little bit before he started, and then he started and just blew right by me and has, like, a heavily converted, like, a heavily, I don't want to say converted, but he's got a decent amount of conversion work, especially for his Chosen and his Dreadnought, which I'm, he might do a video on, so I won't go into that. And, um, so that's cool. Um, and then he has, uh, I, I want to say he has at least 1750 of them. And, uh, he definitely has, I think, like, over, over or around 2,000 points in Necrons. Um, at least right near there. And he has the, has Eldar, around, like, a thousand, a little bit over a thousand points of Eldar. And, um, the Imperial Guard he's doing for his, uh, random 40k Legends of War event. So, um, he's got sizable armies. And, um... When he actually sits down and paints, he can actually bang out a decent amount of models, so that's pretty cool. Uh, he's, a fun, he's fun to play against. Um, all around good guy. So, I highly suggest you check out his video. Or videos. He only has one up so far, but he should be getting more up soon. Um, he's actually doing something kind of similar to my Tony Trader Boys Go video, only he's doing it like speed style. So, where I'm slow and steady, he's showing you how to like pretty much bang out a squad of 20 guardsmen in relatively uh, fast succession and I think it's gonna be a multi-part video because the video ends with them not being done but um it's good he knows how to video edit unlike me so he, it'll actually be a dec uh, decent quality good quality video with you no know, good lighting and sound and whatnot where mine is just hobby lighting and me talking and he actually has um, some video editing in there so it actually looks like a presentable uh, videos unlike mine but uh so yeah, just figured I'd give him a little shout out. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description section. Um, I suggest checking him out. I don't know how regularly he'll be doing videos, but he's um, he's got good ideas and good advice. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next video will be for Twenty Two Boys Go. Will be um, these guys fully done, I believe. Is what I'll do, and then uh, we'll see from there. So until the next video, whatever that is, be it this or something else. Take it easy.